points versus the other person? I don't know what competitive right, means. Stupid. Okay, I guess we had accept. Um, cooperative. Uh, start a new game. How do we how do we do that? What's well, in? I don't know. So if what, what button do we hit? Oh, okay, so, uh, um, uh, you're I supposed to be able to play with separate controllers. Game. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to play with two separate ones. Um, so how do we do that? Uh, okay, I watched YouTube videos where it said you could aim. That is two little mini controllers. Yeah, one to two with mini controllers. Do they mean with another two mini controllers? Because look, it doesn't let you actually do it. It just, you have to select both at once. It won't let you, even though I saw a YouTube video where two guys had one in either, one left and one right, and they were aiming vaguely at the screen and moving them around, and it was like moving the reticles with, gyroscope and they were shooting zombies without having to use a control stick they're just motion controls vaguely but it's not letting us do that so that's that um other people get a better version of the game i guess that sucks yeah you have to do it that way pair them both at once that's bullshit then there's no motion controls house of the dead 2 remake on the switch doesn't actually have multiplayer mode with two Joy-Cons, even though it says everywhere that it does, even on the package. They block you from doing it. Somebody did so. They had to be involved in the game development. Now, the example here is we've selected cooperative, we turned on single Joy-Con mode, we go to start the new game, and here it is. Two Joy-Con controllers, it says. Player one, player two. A single Joy-Con. So you hit your micro shoulder buttons and it does it, you know, supposedly. Okay, then we're ready. We go on. Okay, here's the stupid storyline, whatever. We hit play. Then it goes back to this. Then it says player one. So then I try to do it. Watch what happens. See, it's returned to this. It's returned to a pair two Joy-Cons together, even though in the menus we've already set it to be only one controller. It's somehow being blocked from being correct. So, um, uh, smash the game designer in the head with a fucking hammer until he dies. Who, uh, did this. Just, just, just fuck him to death! That's all. See, the problem I have with this Joy-Con selection menu here is you can't add one of these controllers. They're literally lying to you. There's a video on the internet I'm watching right here where he says you're capable. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you this little cocksucker of doing it, but you're not. His name is uh, Sega Lord X. I always knew that this, this piece of shit was a fuck face. So, uh, okay, here's what he does. Is a traditional crosshair on the screen that you move around with the analog stick. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. a functional but ultimately unsatisfying mm -hmm. way to play because it's so detached from the original experience. The second method uses gyroscopic aiming yes. and brings things closer to the feel of wielding a gun at the screen. Mm -hmm. This allows your Joy Cons or a Pro Controller to use your movements to control the on screen reticle. Not true. No Pro Controller, it says. Only two of these. And, and they don't work. So, uh, fuck you, Sega Lord X. You can suck my dick and balls in hell, you piece of fucking shit. They come in on one arm, and then you... That was gay. Yeah, what is this, a fucking vaudeville stage play? Anyways, uh, yeah. Hey, the bro, controls keep... The controls keep yanking up and to the right slightly, even when you aren't doing that. Yeah, the, the game has been fucked with even further because I'm assuming the uh, game designer who has to exist because there has to be a reason why you can't select more controllers in a loop, you know, of the individual ones. 
at all. You can't you can't play two player. They removed it. So uh, I'm assuming that you know he's also fucked with the controls because they jiggle around and try to avoid the heads a lot. Yeah. Especially in that boss fight with the wings, it's actually intentionally avoiding him, and there's an algorithm to it. So it's in the game's code. It's That's in there. It's in there physically. They physically altered the game so you can't aim right. They went in and altered the gyroscopic aim parameters so it always favors one side and up. And they just did it, and they just did it. And I'll tell you why they did it. See, we had this whole thing where we went through a period where... Um, no one would admit that they had color vision issues and they were going black and white blind and all this other crap. So we finally just had to identify it ourselves and start reporting it on YouTube. And so with this game, what they're doing is they're just not reporting that they are, um, when they go to aim, they automatically pull one direction, the common person from eating too much sugar, which spins them one way. So then they're trying to auto-compensate with an algorithm, but we haven't eaten sugar. So you know what happens? We don't jerk down into the left. So when it jerks up into the right, we're missing, as though it's only accounting for twisted, loser, non-athlete pieces of shit style of play. You eat white sugar that's actual glass crystals that you can make effect pains out of. You don't yeah. eat things that you jump through. And we're an going to track movie. down these motherfuckers in their stupid fucking companies who are saying that it's good business to promote games that cause you to twist further rather than forcing you to straighten as you play them. Well, once again, just like colorblind options, you need to have a perfectly aligned yeah. mode then a leaning mode for either side because I don't give a shit about your inadequacies. I want to play fucking video games. Yep. It returns itself to the menu. You know how we were, you know, you have to get points to get, this is how it works. You have to get points. Yeah. In order to continue. Well, I had more points to spend, but randomly because I got to a certain point in the game, then they're repeating NES things. I've seen the angry video game nerd do this and other people yeah. who talk about games. It's actually too basic. There's people doing it. It's a base design destruction philosophy they did the exact same thing on the nes it's all it is is it's just then you're you're you know get more relies to code abba you know in akari warriors runs out and it doesn't work then the game's just over because they say so but but here they did something worse than any old game they just said because we paused too long it kicks you back to the main menu when you're in the middle of playing. That's not what happened. I was dead and on the menu where it showed oh, the stupid map. Yeah. And then it kicks you back to the main menu, you know, just in case you delay a little time and, you know, you wanted to get out your camera to record it. As if this game tucks its sins up its ass. It hides them. You explore them and then it shoves them up its ass more. It keeps hiding all of its sins. It's not very hidden that we can't play two-player at all. No, but it just keeps doing it anyways. What I'm saying is, when somebody's a total piece of shit and they do something in the open, they always have to think they're hiding something while they're doing it right in front of your fucking face. Yeah. Oh, man, better leave that, that well, yeah. back to the main menu because you gotta hide. You are correct that even if you're playing single player with, you know, controls that are, that are barely working, motion controls, then... They just say you're out of points to reload because they're making you miss, and then that's it, and you're done, and you can't play further, and that's it. You only get a few minutes of entertainment. Fuck this fucking piece of fucking shit. Fucking garbage. Fucking piece of fucking shit. Make me a better game, or get tortured in hell, you little bitches. Stop making shitty fucking video games. How fucking hard is it to make a fucking light gun? I'll tell you right here. All you do, you grab the fucking light gun, right? Right? You stick some fucking controllers in it, and then you go... And nothing happens. Enemies die. You continue the game. You get infinite lives. It doesn't matter what your score is. You continue to play the game. In a market of the modern era when supposed lazy people play video games... Why is there NES design philosophies from old men with bloated prostates and no hair on their head, even less than mine, who act like as if video games are too complex for them? This video game should be simple enough for them to play. 
It's almost like they hate children, they hate video games, and they deserve to be kicked in the balls till they piss blood out their nostrils. A Higayo style. <laughs> Fuck!